Hello, welcome back. So this video is a little bit of a follow-up to the previous video, um, although you can also, you know, look at them as in the, independently and just watch this one. So here, um, I want to show you how you can get annotations for a sub-catalog of the GMGC, the Global Microbial Gene Catalog. And so the important thing to understand, um, and the GMGC has many concepts and they interlink, um, and you get a lot of power out of it if you start to understand the interlinkages and how the identifiers work, but it can be a little bit daunting at the beginning. And this is also why we do these videos. And this is also why if you have any questions, you know, just feel free to reach out and we will try to get back to you. Um, so I'll try to give this as an ex example. Uh, so here again, we start, we have this sub catalogs and you know, let's, let's say I'm going to get the dog gut, the no rare sub catalog. And if you've, since I've run this before, you know, get an X get doesn't do anything, but you know, if this was the first time you were running it, it would download and verify that you have the right file. So the, the important thing to understand is that you, this, this is a sub catalog in the sense that these are the, the subset from the larger, you know, 300 million catalog that corresponds to, to uni genes that are present in the dog gut. Uh, and so any annotation that's valid for the larger catalog is also valid here, except that obviously in the larger catalog, we have a lot more, but so it's, it's about subsetting from the larger to get the information that you want. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, and actually the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to import JZip. I'm going to import pandas and we've actually seen this before. I'm sorry. We've actually seen this sort of operation before where you have a very large, very, very large tables and you want to subset specific, specific things. And I will link that video below in the, in the context of getting, um, you know, of getting mag information, but here it's the same thing, same operation. So the first thing is we, I'm going to, we're going to parse this, uh, FASA file, um, you know, here, so I'm just going to open it. It's a JZIP. I need to open it in read text mode. And then if the first line is a header line, then I am going to add that identifier to my active set. And here I need to just do this, um, you know, line, skip the first character. So this greater than character and skip the last character, which is the new line character. Uh, and so, this is now just parsing the file and just getting the identifiers into this set of active genes. And there it is. Um, and you know, as you can see, um, yeah, maybe let's just make it a little bit more readable. Yeah. So it's 2.8 million, give or take genes in this set. So it's less than 1% from the whole big catalog. So now if I look, um, in the, in, if I look at the annotations that I have, there are these annotations from eggnog mapper two. Um, and let me just actually, and this is exact, let's say this is exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for, I'm looking for annotations for these genes, but the problem is that this file is very, very large. Um, and, and I can tell you for here on my little laptop, I would not even be able to load it. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file that's actually a subset of this large file. And so let's go back to Python. Uh, let's just go back here. Um, yeah, let's go here and there it is. And so I can use pandas read table to load it, except I'm not going to be able to load all of it. So I'm, we're going to do this in chunks, but first let's just check that it does. So here I, I know. So the hash sign is a table. I don't want a header. Um, and I'm just going to load, let's say 12 rows, you know, just to check. Yep. This is, I mean, it's not, it's not so easy to read, but yeah, this is pretty much what I want. So there's, except I don't want all of these. I own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's say I'm going to open. I'm going to, let's say I'm going to call it dog gut. No rare e mapper. See and oh, sorry, I need to open it in, as in writing mode. 
Um, and you know, I, I could have, I could have jzipped this as well. And now, and I'm gonna open a hundred uh, with a chunk size. So what this chunk size equals a hundred thousand does, it's now instead of loading the file, it's gonna load chunk by chunk. Um, the exact size of the chunk is really irrelevant uh, as long as it's large enough that you know that you're taking advantage of economies of scale when it comes to computation uh, whilst at the same time you know it has to still fit in memory but you know and normally any number between 10,000 and you know the low millions fulfills this criteria quite well uh, and so for each chunk I'm gonna get the piece, oops, the pieces of the chunk that I want so And I'm gonna write it out to this file, and I, yep, and there it is. It's running, and so I need to watch out a little bit that I don't write the header again and again. So header equals none. Um, I'm gonna use a um, tab as a separator just because aesthetically I kind of like it more. Um, but yeah, and this this is it. So we've seen something very similar before. Um, you know, this is running in the background, but let's see. Let's see, there it is. Oops, there's something I did there wrong. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe it needs a, maybe it just needs a couple of seconds to run uh, and to flush to disk, but I actually think that this is correct. Yep, I, I mean, um, I think, you know, I think we just might need to wait a little bit longer, but, um, you know, I'll put up a version below if you click on the uh, on the github link you will find the version that works uh, and actually you know this this is just a, you know this is a little bit slower than than a YouTube video there's no point in me sitting here waiting with you guys but if you run into any problems have any questions feel free to reach below we have there's a GMGC mailing list as well there's um, you know you can comment below there's a discord channel so there's many many options for you to get in touch and for you to reach us so um, talk to you soon.